Hi everybody, my name is Jacob Baumgart and I wanted to share a little bit about Daisy Gillardine with you. First up, let's talk about her life. This is Gillardine. She's a conservation photographer from Switzerland who currently lives in Vancouver. She started photography in 1989 when she went to India and her work has been published in National Geographic and BBC Wildlife. She's been a photographer in residence with Canadian Geographic ever since 2018 and she specializes in regions. She first went to Antarctica in 1997. That's where they, she took this picture. Since then, she's been to Antarctica and the Arctic more than 80 times. She's even skied to the North Pole. Altogether, she's been to more than 70 countries in total. But I want to talk to you about the techniques she uses that makes her work unique. And the first one is how she uses her background. So take this picture of a penguin, for example. That black background is actually not the void of night. In an Instagram post, she said that that black background was actually a black building in Antarctica. She thought that it might create a high contrast with the white breath of a penguin. So she lined up a penguin with that black background and waited for it to exhale to per capture this perfect shot, showing a descriptive image of how cold it is in Antarctica and gets that crisp contrast between the white breath and the black building. Another technique she is stellar at is letting nature speak for itself. Take this image right here of an island called Svalbard. Svalbard is an island that's north of Scandinavia and kind of near the North Pole. So Obviously, it's a very cold place. And here, she doesn't put any extra filters on this. This is a naturally occurring monochromatic scheme that, that scene that she just lets speak for itself. So that monochromatic between from black to gray to white, that creates a sharp contrast between those ice sheets and the Black Sea. And those piercing differences show exactly how cold it is in Svalbard, creating a descriptive image. And the final technique I want to discuss is how she uses movement in her photos, specifically with animals. Take this image of a polar bear here for Optum. Now this upcoming image was also sh shot in Svalbard. And this is not just an aesthetically evaluated piece, but it's also an ethically evaluated one. If you look at this polar bear, it's placed right at the intersection of the bottom third and the right third of the photo, highlighting a bunch of negative space and how lonely this polar bear is. And when your eyes go from that polar bear walking across the screen there, which creates movement, it also then travels out to the water. That's where your eyes go. And that's where the negative space is. So you see that that's water, not ice, creating a dilemma for the polar bear as you realize that it's having a melting habitat, which is bad. And you think about how humans are affecting that. So that is not only an aesthetically evaluated piece, but also an ethically evaluated one. So one of the things that I wanted to also talk about was how her work has influenced my own and what I hope to take away from it. So Gillardini's biggest takeaway from me was how she used her backgrounds. In that first photo I showed you, she used a background to contrast between the background and foreground. This one blends the background into the foreground to show how much snow is in Antarctica. This is so intentional, whereas my backgrounds are normally just focused on, can I get that trash can out of the shot? I want to start thinking about how I can use my background to create contrast and how I can also use it to blend to tell us. And then the other takeaway that I had is I want to replicate movement like Gillardini had. Take this picture of an elephant right here. So this one, this elephant, its trunk reaches out to the screen and that's where your eyes start. So then it travels up the snout and then you see the entire elephant. So this creates movement in the photo. It's almost like it's a three-dimensional photo. So my photography has mostly focused on 2D images. Everything has looked very flat so far, but I wanna create three dimensions. I want people's eyes to move throughout my photos and I want my subjects to also create movement based on how they're positioned in the frame like this elephant is. 